This is Swabbly back again with another video. If you like my content, please hit the like button. It is really appreciated. Hit the share button, let a buddy or two know about me. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button so you get to see my future content. Today, we'll be tackling my top 10 favorite ever games. Hope you enjoy the video. At the number 10 spot, Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing. We all know that every single kart racing game is basically a rip-off of Mario Kart. But I don't have a Nintendo, I don't own a Switch, I don't have anything like that. I have an Xbox, I have a PC. I have Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing on Steam. I have it on the Xbox as well. I even had it on the Xbox 360 and still have the game. Me and the other half absolutely love battling each other beating the hell out of each other, shooting each other up the backside, it's a scream. Kids love it, adults love it, it doesn't have a really bad difficulty curve, it's just bloody good fun. In at nine, it's Microsoft Solitaire. Not ashamed to admit this, but I do play this pretty much every day of my life while I'm waiting for dinner to be cooked, if I'm waiting to go out waiting for something to happen i will pop on do a couple of games my favorite has to be all of them apart from free cell absolutely hate free cell why the hell was that game ever invented but you can't beat a bit of klondike love it now number eight unreal tournament from the very first Unreal Tournament ever released up to the 2004 and all the other variations in between. Single player game, running around, blowing things to smithereens, to the big old online multiplayer games, driving tanks around. I couldn't get enough of the game. Haven't played it that much recently, but I have just installed the new high res textures and I'm loving the game once more. Here's the seventh position, Doom Eternal. I think everyone will agree with me that Doom Eternal is probably one of the best games that's ever come out. Taken from the original Doom millions of years ago on the old PCs into what it is now is some kind of miraculous conversion. If they can do the same with Quake, I'll be very happy. But for me, Doom Eternal, it's one of those games that gets your heart pumping, gets your brain thinking, what the hell am I doing? Jumping around and climbing up walls in the middle of nowhere reminds me of Tomb Raider from years ago. But it just has that gore, the action, the speed, and a difficulty setting that will really test you every step of the way. If you've never played it, get on it now. You're missing out. Now number six, Quake Champions. From when Quake 3 Arena was first ever released, I realized Quake was my multiplayer shooter game that I loved. Quake Champions, a bit of a freebie on the internet and got it through Steam. Absolutely love it. It's fast, it's crazy. Um, I'm rubbish at it. I will probably do a video later on, but it is one of those games that I will stick on, run around, blow the crap out of people and go, yeah, take that, yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying that. My fifth favorite, Halo Infinite. Have to admit, I was pleased that they delayed this game for a year. It needed work, it got that work. I think the game delivered. The graphics are pretty good. The gameplay is amazing. There needs to be a lot more done on the multiplayer and we need to know when uh, DLC is coming out. I'm not into all of these extra skins and paying money for microtransactions at all, but the actual storyline, I've enjoyed it. I love running around open world games. I love killing things. I love collecting things. This game suits me fine. Will admit, really didn't go much on Halo 1 or 2. I just found it so slow and boring. But this has got speed, it's got action, it's got the graphics, it's got the gameplay. It's smooth, it looks good. I can shoot stuff. What more could a guy ask for? Now the fourth. Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions Evolved. 
Now this is one of those games you either love it or hate it. I love it, as you can probably tell by the position in my chart. If you suffer with epilepsy, please don't play it. It will, yeah, it will F you up. It's fast, it's 3D, it's a dual stick shooter with colors, neon explosions. It really makes you work hard to get through the levels one by one. I've got to a level where I'm stuck. I've been stuck for two years. I still go back to the game at least once a week, trying my damn hardest to get past it. I will do it one day if it kills me. It probably will, but at least I've tried. Third from top, Forza Horizon 4. So many hours sunk into this game, it is unbelievable. Even just driving around, having a look at the sights of Edinburgh. Uh, I enjoyed the DLC, especially the Lego. Why Lego? Why? It worked. It was fun. I built some Lego houses. Shame you couldn't run them over and smash them into smithereens, but the racing was good. I think they really hit the nail on the head with handling of the cars, the, the amount of cars. Oh. There's only two games that I played more than this, and they're my second and first place. But Forza Horizon 4 is, it's just one of those games that I will love every single day of my life. I still play it, not quite as much as 5, but I still play it. Great game. The penultimate favourite, Crackdown 3. Bit of a contentious one this. A lot of people in the gaming industry like to rag on it. They say it sucks, it never lived up to the hype. But I didn't believe the hype in the first place. The power of the cloud for multiplayer, fully destructible environments? I don't even care about the online multiplayer game. It was pretty rubbish. But the single player, the collection of orbs, the blowing up of the different factions. I loved Crackdown 1, I loved Crackdown 2, probably not quite as much as 1, but 3, that hit the mark for me. I will be doing a video in regards to this and uh, you'll see that I'm so near to collecting everything, so near to completing the game, I will do it. It's one of those things that I just have to do. I like the game, I really enjoy it. It's stupid, it's fun, it's got destruction, it's got flying, it's got cars. It's just my kind of game, to be honest with you. My favourite game ever, Forza Horizon 5. As you could probably tell by my previous videos, I absolutely love Forza Horizon 5. I think they've got all the elements absolutely spot on down to the graphics, the sound effects of the cars, the environments, the different biomes. Have you ever driven through a storm where the rain is hitting your car so hard and the wind is howling around you and you actually feel like you're in a storm? Well, maybe not quite, but you know what I mean. This is probably the first game that's actually made me want to hit the achievements. I'm doing all right. I've completed so many of the races, so many of the different elements of the game. I haven't yet got into creating my own tracks, but it's something I wanna give a try once I've got the main game completed. I'm racing against people that I don't know, I've never heard of, as well as many friends and people that I follow on Xbox. Come and give me a race if you think you're fast enough. See ya in Mexico. This is Swobbly and that was my top 10 games ever. I hope there was a few in there that you like and is in your top 10. I'm sure there's a few that you disagree with me. Leave a comment down below, join in the conversation, hit the like button whilst you're there, subscribe, whack the bell. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.